Hey y'all, Shannon from Homesteading in the Heartland. Um, we've been MIA for a while. Say hi, Caitlin. Hello. Caitlin hasn't been feeling too good. She had a lupus flare. She wasn't feeling too good. So we took some time and we were doctoring a lot and now we are back. And today, um, tomorrow we're going to some friends for grilling. So I'm gonna, for the first time ever, make um, hamburger runs. I've made sourdough bread, French bread, regular French bread, um, white bread, rye bread. I've made lots of bread, but I've never made buns before. So we're going to try that. But I had started a pre-ferment. I had started a pre-ferment mixture yesterday. I'm going to show you also artisan style French bread and a homemade garlic butter and the artisan style French bread recipe I have. It's a pre-ferment mixture for eight to 24 hours. So you start the pre-ferment the day before. Anyway, so we'll be doing some other videos right now. We're going to do the art. Set, reset the tripod up and show you everything over here. Really quick. So this is a pre-ferment mixture I, you know, started yesterday, yesterday. So to make this, you have one cup bread flour, one tablespoon rye flour in a separate bowl mixed up, and one cup of warm water, 105 to 115. You will add a quarter teaspoon of yeast, stir it up, set the timer for five minutes. And then after five minutes, um, take one tablespoon of that from that one cup of pre-ferment mixture. Take one tablespoon, put it in your bread flour, rye flour, mix it up, and then add three quarter cup plain water, warmed to 105 to 115, stir it up, cover it, let it sit. Now the next process is to add one cup warm water from 105 to 115 and stir it in here until it's mixed up really good. Oops. And then you will be adding this to your bread flour, salt, and more yeast. Um, I have two bowls here because I'm going to be doing homemade buns too, so I have two bowls. But um, this is just an old crock pot liner. Okay. In here, I'm going to add three cups bread flour, the oh gosh, uh, half a teaspoon of yeast, and I believe it's one teaspoon of salt. Let me check. I'm doing so many recipes. Two so two teaspoons of salt in here. A teaspoon. This okay. is the, can you show them the yeast that we use? Yeah, we get the stuff in bulk from, here, put down more. We get the stuff in, yeah. in bulk from Sam's. Sam's Club, which I think we're gonna switch to Costco. All the so we have the yeast, you can use a plastic or a wood spatula, a spoon, half a teaspoon of yeast, two teaspoons of salt, and three cups of bread flour. I'm gonna keep repeating it because it hurt. Okay, I know. Well, maybe we should just completely start over. No. Just... I can't. <laughs> Pretty mixed okay. right now. Adding the pre-ferment mixture into my dry mixture. That's the oven preheated. So I'm gonna put the bread board over on the warm stove because it's cold here in North Dakota. So it helps to bread to rise when it's on the stove. Okay, and have it mixed together. Throw it out on a fl floured surface. Just knead it a few times and then but don't overwork it because you're going to have it, you're going to cover it and let it rest for 20 minutes. I'm going to put it on the stove and it's going to be really sticky. Okay. Oh. I didn't know you turned it on. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Okay. You can push pause. 
wait, go. Okay, wash my hands because it's, it's so it's so sticky it's sticky to start. Um, cover I cover it with saran wrap and then I put it over on the burnt or on the warm oven and let it rest for 20 minutes. Okay, we're back after this was over on the stove for 20 minutes. Um, have an extra quarter cup bread flour on hand because you can knead up. It's going to be sticky. So um, you can use a mixer if you want to be lazy or and do it in like a minute and a half on with the mixer. Or you can knead it for another three to five minutes, which is I do, what I do. Do it for three to five minutes. put it in this bowl here and let it rise for two to two and a half hours. I okay, and then we'll set this in a warm, dry place. I put it on the oven for two to two and a half hours. So now we're back to the artisan style French bread and we have to heavily flour with bread flour. And here is the, okay, very carefully, so it doesn't stick, very carefully roll this out onto the heavy floured surface, picking on the side. Try to not disturb the air bubbles as much as possible. Just roll it out. Very carefully. Just try not, try not to disturb too much of it. Get it all covered in flour without. And then what you need to do next is to very carefully, without causing too much damage to it, very carefully cut it in half. So try not to disturb it too much. And then what you're going to do is turn around and shape this into a rectangle shape and ooh, without see that nice bubble right there we don't want to do, mess that up too much cover it and let it rest for a half an hour it's time then without disturbing as easy as possible as much as careful as possible without disturbing red holes you're going to pick this up very carefully and kind of pull it out slowly without into about 12 inches here pull 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 so i usually like to use parchment paper but i am out to parchment paper So I just greased the pan and then I will cover this and set it off to the side and let it rise for 30 minutes. And we'll come back to you after it's done rising. Yep. Okay. So these are all ready to go in the oven at, for, at 450 for um, 15 minutes. Check it at around 13. Um, I can't find my razor to do the slits. so. I'm going to attempt to of a slit here with a knife. <laughs> it's gonna take some of the bubbles out. Okay, so you have a bottle. Oops, have a bottle of water. We use filtered water from the Berkey. We are going to spray inside the oven and on the bread very liberally. Get it misty in there. Okay, 15 minutes. Timer just beeped. So I I forgot to grab the phone and record it. So here is the final product. They are hollow. They're not too, they're just perfectly golden brown. <laughs> perfectly golden brown. And it is the best French bread you will ever have. And I'm gonna be making some, I've been Got some softened butter here, and I will be making homemade garlic butter as well to go with it. Have a good one. Bye.